hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to integrate web sockets for your native mac os application now here i have one mac os application and uh, here i have one web application for web application i am using uh, react js and for mac os of course i am using swift with xcode and for backend i am using node.js so i will show you the backend code as well if you are interested on how i implemented for the web with react.js i already have a video on that as well but the why i am using web uh, web uh, like uh, my web app as well because i want to show that i am able to chat with this particular user now uh, for my uh, mac os app i have hard coded the username as well as the room name so for chatting with any user you require a username as well as a room name it can be anything it can be an email as well but just for simplicity i have kept it as username and room name so if you see my code i have for my mac os i have hard coded the name as virat and room name as t the room name can be anything okay so i'll do the same thing but uh, for my web app as well but for my web app i have given some text field you can do the same for mac os as well i want to keep the tutorial simple that's why i have not created separate screen for my mac os asking the username as well as the room name okay so i have entered the username as rahul for my web app and i will enter the same uh, group name sorry it was t capital right okay i'll click on submit as soon as rahul joins t i get a message on my web app as on my mac os app as well okay rahul joined t now forget about this optional the reason why you are seeing this optional message is because uh, i am using a label but uh, typically you should use a uh, you are like a table view or something uh, that's why you are seeing this message because i am like literally converting this codable uh, struct uh, to a string that's why you are seeing something like this uh, but yeah that's fine for now but you can easily uh, like i have decoded uh, like this particular string to json so you can easily get the text value the name value or the type value as well now suppose i send some message from my mac os app so here also as you can see inside my mac os app as soon as i am connected uh, to the web socket i immediately get a message and that message is broadcasted to all the clients who are connected to this particular room now i'll send a message called hi here you can see i get a message hi here also i can get a message hi now i'll send some message hello from my web app and same message you will get on your mac os app as well so here you can see i'm able to get that message so yeah this is what it is uh, let's see how to do this now there is one interesting thing to note like when i send a message of hi from my mac os app i was able to get the name but when i sent it from my web app i was not able to get the name like this is a bug on my back end which i couldn't really figure it out why this is happening but uh, there is one more thing uh, suppose i completely close the web app then also i get a message that okay rahul left t okay now here you can see i'm able to get this uh, username but i don't know why this is still nil even though here it is nil that's fine again uh, this is a bug in my node.js backend i'm not really sure this only happens for the web app uh, but yeah uh, let's get started on how to do this uh, so first i'll explain you the backend code so i have node.js installed on my local machine then you can just create a for folder open your terminal cd to that particular folder and you can just run npm space init space dash y uh, this will create a package.json file you can create this package.json file manually as well but you will have to add few things first is the start and dev command so basically when you run npm run start or npm run dev it will start your backend server now don't run this command yet because we want to copy a lot of code so add these two things first then you will have to do npm install express and npm install express dash ws inside your terminal so it will install this two dependency as well as create this node modules folder for you next we will go to index.js and here we will import express first we will create an app out of it then we are also importing chat user which i will show you in a bit then we are requiring express-ws and we are passing our express app to it then we are doing app app.ws we are passing so to connect to the web socket 
you will have to connect to this particular url now this colon room name is dynamic so here room name can be anything right so this colon room name it means that this is a dynamic string it can be anything but this is constant like slash chat is constant now as soon as a user is connected to this uh, web socket i'm creating a chat user and first parameter which i am sending is a function so the wh.send is a function wh.send is typically used to send some message from your server to the client side next is a uh, next is a room name and this is called whenever we receive a message from the client side to the server and here i'm just calling handle message which i will show you in a bit and on close as well like once uh, web app uh, once you close one of the tabs uh, or completely close your web app then also we are emitting a signal to all other clients which are connected to our room so for that handle close is called and here we are starting our server on port 3001 next we have uh, chat user.js here we are requiring room.js which i will show you in a bit here i have created chat user it takes a constructor send and room name so send is a function which gets assigned to underscore send and here if you see i have created another method called send okay and it basically calls underscore send and underscore send is assigned to wh.send which we send from over here wh.send okay so it basically helps us to pass some message from server to client and here we, for room uh, we are calling the get method from our room.js which i will show you in a bit now coming down handle message so whenever i am sending some message from any of the client i am sending it form of uh, like i am sending it in a form of json but i have to stringify it before sending it to the server so it is in form of json so every message will have a type so json object of type colon uh, join comma name colon rohit something like this okay uh, otherwise uh, for um, second json like whenever you are sending some message i am saying type colon chat comma text colon hi something like this so that again you don't have to use json you can just pass normal string as well just for uh, just to uh, make it more convenient i am passing like that because most people would require json so here once we get the stringify json we are just parsing it and we are just checking what type it is if it is join then call handle join if it is chat then call handle chat i have not implemented this ignore this for now so if you see handle join so as soon as a user join we uh, get the name right so we assign it to this dot name so the name is a global variable in chat user and then we call a join method of room.js as well as broadcast message broadcast method of room.js the broadcast method internally calls this method okay to send messages to all the members who are connected similarly for handle chat again we are broadcasting that message to all the clients that are connected now for handle close like whenever suppose i close the web the tab of my web app or web app completely i'm first getting the name if that member exists within our room if yes then call the leave method and then call the broadcast method and don't forget this module.export chat user now we will create room.js here we are first creating a map to store all the rooms uh, for our server now this is not a good practice you should use a proper database to store all the rooms uh, whichever are created then here i have this get method so this get method what basically checks if this particular room name is present inside our rooms variable or not if no then create a new room if yes give the existing room if you see the constructor it takes a room name and for members i have created a set again this is not a good practice you should so store the member inside a database so whenever a member join we are adding that particular member to our member set whenever he leaves we are deleting it deleting it from our member set whenever i want to broadcast I just loop over all the members and it calls the send method which we had defined over here which internally calls wh.send and if you want to get all the members you can use this and to get a particular member by name we can use this and don't forget this module.exports now you can just go to your terminal and run npm run start or npm run dev to start your server now for mac os uh, firstly create a mac os application uh, using xcode with swift i am using appkit but you can use swift ui as well firstly you will have to go to sign in and capabilities and here inside network tab of app sandbox 
you will have to check this checkbox like incoming connection server outgoing connections client once that is done uh, you will have to create a so i have created this struct message so typically while sending a message a message will definitely have a type and it can either have a name or it can either have a text so if the user joins for the very first time to our websocket it, we will send type and name if he sends some message then we will send type and text okay again you don't have to follow this you can send it in form of string as well uh, yeah your choice uh, next i have created a websocket manager class so here we are just making use of url session websocket i have created this message receive handler so that whenever we receive some message from server to the client i can send it back to our view controller and inside in it we are initializing the url creating a url session then using websocket task and connecting it so this is the connect method calling resume and calling a re receive message for sending a message we just require a message here we are just stringifying our json and then just calling url session websocket task dot message dot string and then calling send message send method for receiving a message we are constantly receiving and if we get a message we just call message receive handler handler pass our text it will the it will move back to our view controller and again we are receiving the message now if you go to view controller here as i told you i have hard coded name and room name but you can have a separate uh, screen where you ask the user for name and room name and once you enter that then you can navigate to this view controller then i have taken a text field a button and an uh, label uh, okay uh, next i have taken also an array of uh, message and here i have created a websocket manager now instead of this label you can take take a table view because i think that would be more performant just for simplicity i have taken it as label then for i have just assigned some properties to our text field and added it to our as a sub view similarly for button and i have also added one click listener to it and similarly for our label as well then i have assigned some ns layout constraints here we are initializing our websocket manager now here you will have to use ws not http or https another thing is websocket now my node.js backend is hosted locally so this thing should be your own ip address don't copy this otherwise it won't work for you and this 3001 is uh, the port where my node.js backend is running then if you uh, remember the url it was slash chat slash room name so that's what i'm passing if you go to index.js slash chat slash room name room name is dynamic so i'm just passing this now as soon as a user connects to our websocket i'm creating a message of type join passing the name text is nil i'm encoding the json uh, message converting it to string and just calling send message sending it back here you can just pass a normal string as well if you want to for receiving a message again we will get in it in form of string so we are just decoding that message uh, inside our message struct appending it to our list now i'm not making use of this list but you if you have a table view you can make use of this list and here i'm just updating our label now instead of this message you can just add like i don't know message dot type i guess and then uh, you can have something like this uh, message dot name again name is optional so make sure you can you should add a check as well if me uh, name is present or not and similarly for text as well text is optional so you can have something like this to look it better uh, and yeah here you can see in case of error i'm just printing it to the console and for button click again we are doing same thing we are constructing a message yeah, name is nil but the text is whatever you have ins en entered inside the text field we are encoding that json and we are creating a string out of it and then we are just calling send message to uh, of our websocket manager so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye